Welcome back to my channel, Reviews by Jamie. Today I'm going to do a review on the CoverGirl Star Wars lipsticks. Here they are. I got them a long time ago. I had a picture up on Instagram of one of them, the only one I tried, which was this one. <laughs> this like goldish one right here. And I know that was a long time ago. CoverGirl came out with a Star Wars collection. They have tons of different makeup in their collection, part of the Star Wars theme and I don't know a lot about Star Wars I'm not even gonna pretend Sean yesterday was like singing the Star Wars thing like w like humming it or whatever and I was like can you stop singing that song like it's making me feel sick he was like it's the Star Wars theme I'm like I don't care and then I was like oh yeah I forgot about this so I'm not like this huge fan but the colors looked really cool and I know a lot of people are into Star Wars I'm not even a big movie person so it's like because some people say to do movie reviews and I'm I'm like, I can't because I hate every movie, so you don't want to review. So all their packaging looks like this, Star Wars, like metallic-y, and then the color of the lip product right here. So this one is number 10. Wow. <laughs> Very exciting. No. It wants to focus here, so I'm going to let it. <laughs> looks like a silvery, like metallic-y color. I moistened my lips for you guys. <laughs> Nobody likes that word, but it doesn't bother me. Moist. <laughs> Let me do a swatch too. So yeah, silver. <laughs> For being silver, it's not as crazy as you would think it would be. It's almost wearable. <laughs> I always like the like frosty looks on me and like metallics and stuff. I don't know why. So the next one I'm going to try is number 20, which looks like a metallic purple, like silvery purple. So this could be really pretty. It looks good with my new backdrop. <laughs> it's a little more transparent than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna like cover in like a really solid like purpley silver like intense look but it doesn't but it's kind of good because that makes it a little more wearable for me at least i forgot to swatch it what's going on today so yeah next to the silver you can get an idea this next one is number 50 and ooh, doesn't it look nice? <laughs> it's like a really deep, deep purple, but I see kind of like flecks of like bluish something or other. <laughs> uh, oh, let's watch it. Almost forgot again. It almost looks like grape juice, actually. Does it smell like it? No. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more like purple, but it gives off, see how it gives like a pinkier look? This one's not good for my dry lips because it's really like settling into everything. Why is this a Star Wars one? I didn't, I've never really seen it, so I don't know. Do people wear this color in it? <laughs> it's very dimensional. You can see like flecks of metallic-y kind in there. It's pretty. So that one left a little pink aftertaste. <laughs> so this one is number 70. It's more like, um, it's really like a brown, but like, um, more metallic-y looking brown. I think I'm gonna try it 
try to get some more of that last one off because it's blending and it looks like a pinky brown and that's not really what it is, so be right back. Usually I wait to put like the really dark ones on because of that problem. Ooh, be careful of me. And I just couldn't wait. I really wanted to see that one, so sorry about that. <laughs> than it really is but this gives you a pretty good idea of the color <laughs> just look at this <laughs> this is number 40 it's like like a yellow gold or like a peachy gold i don't know it's really really different something, something about this place something lonely nights and looks on your face something something about my cool nebraska guy yeah something about my sister was like, what's that lip color? It's really cool. And I was like, it's the Star Wars lipstick. And she was like, really? <laughs> and in the sun, it really sparkled. <laughs> the last one is number 30. Really pretty color, like, like, um, not like a red, like a reddish wine. All of these, when you look closely, you can see a more like metallic-y glitter look in them. Hello? <laughs> thinking you forgot to swatch it again me you as in me <laughs> you are right these are pretty good they were more wearable than i thought they would be which is good and bad i think like in some ways i wanted them to be crazy i was just kind of in the mood for that but like i can't like deny these because I was in the mood for something crazy. <laughs> Wearable is is a nice thing. You want to be able to wear them. These also had a lot of like glitter in them, but it was very fine glitter pieces, like very small and fine, and so you couldn't really see like big chunks of chunks of glitter, which is cool that they did that. That is all. I hope you enjoyed this. Get a little peek into the CoverGirl Star Wars collection because I'm so into the movie. Z. Are there more than one? I don't know. <laughs> How is there one coming out? Isn't it an old movie? I don't know. Thank you guys for watching and these have been... A